Hey gang, it's Trucker Ray with an update from Langley, British Columbia. It is uh, 8.03 and uh, I've been here um, all day. I made my way into town yesterday at, uh, I can't remember what it was, I think it must have been about 5.30 when I got, or 5 o'clock when I got here. And uh, dropped the trailer off in a very snowy yard and uh, made my way out to drop my laundry off. and. Uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like out here. It's a little crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna show you. You can see the uh, big pile of snow over there and then there's another one over there. And uh, the roads look a lot better now, but just a ton of snow around here. Just uh, lots of it, just tons of it. That's where, I, that's where I normally park, but if I was gonna park there, I get stuck right in the uh, snow there. So that doesn't help my situation. So just thought I'd show you guys that so uh, yeah today got my laundry finally finished I picked it up and I got two Bible breaks done I'm doing a series on Noah's Ark and uh, two-part series I've got part one already uploaded part two will get uploaded soon maybe in a, another day or two or I'll save it for the next video the long length video I didn't record my last trip I just didn't feel like recording anything uh, I just needed a break. That trip that I did, the round trip I did to Ontario, uh, I know a lot of you enjoyed that because it got some pretty good hits. Yeah, it was pretty eventful. I had a lot going on in that video and it took a lot out of me. So I decided not to bother recording the trip to Arizona and back. And uh, there wasn't much to see anyway because when I left Langley, I, there was a storm coming in. I beat it. I made my way down the I-5 and on the way back up, I just missed another storm that came through here and I squeaked in behind that one and uh, last night we had a bunch of ice uh, come down ice uh, ice rain ice rain or whatever you want to call it <laughs> just ice was coming down out of the sky there freezing rain gee why am I calling it ice rain I'm tired I didn't get a lot of sleep last night because um, I was binge watching some uh, YouTube videos once in a while I'll get on YouTube and I'll watch videos like uh, Crooked Cops or um, excessive cops that are excessive or uh, cops that are wannabe cops, police impersonators. I, I, I guess I enjoy watching when someone is abusing the law in some way, I enjoy watching justice served. It's not that I like watching cops that go, go bad, but there's a lot of bad cops out there and there's a lot of good cops. And the thing I like about those some of those episodes, it's the good cops that nail the bad ones. The cops that are out there drinking and driving and they think they can get away with it because they're, they're law enforcement and they try to buy their way out of it with sweet talking and even telling the other cops to turn their cameras off. And I got caught up on watching that. And one other thing too, I've been listening to Dragnet, the uh, the old radio classic series, and uh, and it's it takes place in L.A. back in the 40s, and they take actual police cases and they relive them on their radio program, and a majority of the people that they arrest and convict end up at San Quentin in a prison. I think it's San Quentin, Quinn, Quentin, Quentin, whatever. Uh, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, that prison apparently is still around. It's one of the worst in the country. And uh, I was watching a documentary on that and I found that very fascinating, which is a clear reminder that I would never want to go to a place like that. So I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I think I went to bed at like five and got up at seven. So <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. So um, I haven't received any marching orders for tomorrow. Probably won't be sent out because tomorrow will be Saturday and we never load on Sunday. So there's a good chance that I'll be told tomorrow that I'll be heading out Sunday to go pick up for Monday, wherever that might be. And uh, I probably will be recording that trip and uh, just, just the highlights of it. Nothing, uh, I like doing the highlights when I miss a day or miss a day here or there. It doesn't make it so monotonous, so I'm trying to change things up for the new year. And I hope you guys like the new format of the video. And uh, yeah, 
As you can tell, I'm very, very tired. I'm gonna sleep very well tonight. Like I said, I got two and a half hours sleep last night. So uh, I was gonna get a rest, a little bit of a nap today. And I thought, no, 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 stay up. Then you will sleep tonight. You know, and you will have no problem falling asleep. Because tomorrow morning, I wanna get up and make my way over to Costco and pick up a few supplies that I need so I can get back on my carnivore diet. I have been off of it since Christmas. And uh, been doing a little bit of fasting too. Haven't been eating a lot, but um, yeah. It's not like I've been eating an excessive amount of sweets or anything like that, but potatoes and whatever, some carbs. And um, yeah, I wanna get back on my regular diet. So that's why I'm going to Costco tomorrow to pick up some things that I need. And uh, yeah, head back out on probably Sunday afternoon and get back on my diet. But that's all I got for you guys. I hope you're all doing well. And uh, a special message to a very special lady, Mary Dwyer. Um, I have dedicated the, uh, the Noah's Ark Bible break to you. I hope you like that story because I do make mention of the dedication to you because you're such a sweetheart. And uh, I really appreciate what you sent me. That was very, very nice. And I'll always remember that and it'll keep me warm. So blessings in the name of Yeshua to everybody out there. See you later. Until next time. Bye for now.